Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In today's video, we're going to be about breeding and selection. And here's the first question: Which of the following traits are repeatability traits? And first, let me give you definitions of the repeatability. Repeatability is a measure of the strength of the relationship between repeated records, repeated phenotypic values for a trait in a population. And here's another definition of the repeated trait a trait for which individuals commonly have more than one performance record. Now let's analyze the list of the answers. So variant A, body measurements of the cattle. Can we take many body measurements of the cattle during certain period of time? Yes, so this is repeatable trait. One mile time of horses. Of course, also horses can run multiple times one mile. So this is also repeatable trait and we take measurements in the form of seconds or minutes. And variant C, the code color of the Labradors. This is not a repeatable trait because they get code color when they born and that's it. So this is not a repeatable trait. So when we take these measurements, let's say in a month or two or three, the color is going to be the same. And warranty, birth weight of the swine. Also, we can take only once. We cannot take it every month, birth weight. So it's not repeatable trait. And fleece grade of the sheep. This is repeatable trait, so we can take it multiple times. And next question, when repeatability is high, it is good indicator for future production for the individual. Is it true or false? Imagine that this line represents mean of the population for a certain trait. And let's say this is how much milk a cow gives. And this is going to be cow number one. We take measurements one day, it shows this much. We take measurements next day, it shows this much. We take measurements next day, it shows this much. And we take measurements next day, and this show this much. And let's take a look, for example, this is going to be second cow, and it shows following results. We take measurements one day, it shows this much, next day shows this much, third day shows this much, and fourth day shows this much. And now, of course, it would be better to use this cow for our breeding because repeatability of the trait is better and we can predict better results of the cross if we'll use this cow instead of this one. Those performance of the cow number one is also good and above the average of the population. So when repeatability is higher, it is a good indicator for the future production of the individual. Yes, it is true. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.